Hi, you're with English Coach, and I'm here to talk to you today about how actions can have more impact than just talking about something or thinking about something. My first example of this is when you talk to someone or you try to correct someone at work or at home, and you tell them about either their behavior or how they did the task wrong. Now this is especially relevant when you're talking about physical tasks or how to do something uh, because often you, you tell them how they did it wrong and you'll feel good about yourself but one of the things that won't happen is there won't be a change in their behavior or they won't figure out how to do the task properly and they will do the task either wrong again or um, yeah they won't get it right because they weren't able to learn the task properly. One of the shortcuts, number one, one of the shortcuts, and number two, one of the ways to get more impact or have more impact on the person is to literally take them and show them how this task is done. Now you achieve that by actually literally going with them and showing them how it is done, not correcting, not criticizing, not giving feedback, nothing. Just showing them how it is done. And this is my first example of how actions are stronger than words. Now, Lots of people are going to say, there's a problem with that. I don't have the time to show them those things. I can't do that. And I think that's the funniest excuse ever, because if you look at the results of that excuse, usually they end up spending way more time telling the person that they're wrong, telling the person how they did it wrong, instead of actually trying to correct their behavior and doing a better job. So, this is very funny. I'll give you this example where the person said to the other person five times that they need to change the way they are doing a task instead of showing them how to do it better. So they yelled and screamed, ah, you're not doing the task properly, you need, it, you need to do it better. I came in and I said, why don't you show the person? No, that's going to take too long. Two months later, the person is having the same argument. Is it because they like arguing or they just don't want to see the person improve? I don't know. I'll leave that up to you to decide, okay? Uh, the second and the big uh, example of this is about a guy, a young guy, 16 year old, uh, who likes a girl, another 16 year old girl, but cannot find a way to ask her out. Sounds tragic, sounds typical, sounds like the old problem that uh, all young men have had. And it is a stressful little problem. So until now he has had zero results because his actions have always been texting and calling the girl just to talk to her. He hasn't actually uh, being able to commit to any kind of action and although people have said oh you need to say this you need to send that you need to talk to her like this and this will work uh, what all of the other teenage guys his age are doing is not working either because they have not noticed one truth and that truth is action speak lo louder than words so what he has to do or what what his uh, challenge is is to go directly to her apartment ring the doorbell, give a flower, and ask her out. Now this is sounds easy to do, of course it's not easy, it's, a, it's very difficult to pull this off uh, because there's a lot of uh, risk in, in, in this. I mean one, one of the things that can happen is her dad can come out and say why do you want to talk to my daughter or it can just be a rejection, an all-out rejection. But what I want you to concentrate on here as we're talking is that Basically, even if he fails, he can have a positive result here. What's the first thing you think the girl is going to do after the girl rejects him? Is she just going to reject him and that's, that's the end of it? No. She's probably going to tell her friends about the courage and about this, this daring act that this boy has, has committed to, to ask her out. And this is going to have a whole lot of collateral effects on the boy and most of them 90% of them are going to be completely positive okay so basically 
what I'm talking about is actions speak louder than words. You can call the girl, you can text the girl. In this case, we're talking about a young boy, uh, a student of mine and, and the challenge that he had. Or you can go straight to the girl's house or apartment, ring the doorbell, give the flower and show that gesture. It's a hell of a lot stronger than just words and just uh, talking and just thinking. It has a very, very strong impact, okay? So that's what I'm, uh, I'm here to talk to you today about, just that. That in your life, there's probably an opportunity for you to act where you're just talking. To actually commit to a gesture or commit to something that involves more than talking and more than thinking so that you can achieve something bigger than what you're already achieving, which is probably not enough, okay? So remember, actions speak louder than words. Practice that. I hope you loved the video. Please subscribe. Please send your comments. Please like or dislike the video, okay? Thanks a lot.